So uh, a situation came up the other day, um, and I thought I'd just share this with everybody. Because um, say we, what we want to do is we want to we want to move away a bit from the videos where it's just simply following an admin guide, and um, you know every, everything's happy path and everything just works, and actually get sort of a little bit into the uh, to the to the real world and and start to solve real problems that we see. So in this particular instance, what we had was we had a situation where this is so this is the uh, the template that we've got for our VM London firewall okay and you can see we've got our two sub interfaces now for some reason you'll discover this as you as you wander through the world of Palo Alto for some reason sub interfaces are a little bit of a nightmare for deletion and and addition and stuff like that for, I don't know why but there seems to be if you're gonna have a problem or certainly if I've had a problem with interfaces it's been sub interfaces okay when push from a template so what we had, and we're going to have to use our imaginations a little bit, was we had a scenario where the interface had been deleted from here. So this interface we're going to use in this demonstration. And even though uh, it was in sync and everything was fine, because um, as we can see, if we, then we can see that that's, that's in sync. Everything's all good. However, the interface was still there. Now, I know this is in sync now, and I know it's in the template and everything like that. So so this is the thing so what we're going to do is we are going to show simply that if we go to the template and this is what we had to do um, we're going to go to the template for our device we're going to delete our um, our sub interface okay and then we're going to commit to panorama but we're not going to push it because I know that this will work um, this way Okay, so whilst it's pushing, just remember, please like and subscribe. I'm nearly at a, a thousand subscribers as we as we speak. It'd be good if we can get to the point where um, it's uh, you know it's becoming more and more popular, and we'll do more and more things, and we'll start to look at more and more real world situations of Palo Alto, and and sort of expand out to XOR and, and other products as well. Okay, so that's just about committed. So, so what we're going to do is once that's committed, we're going to we're going to look here and we're going to say, okay, we've got a stuck interface. So the whole plan is literally we're going to disable the template values. We're going to make them local to the firewall because you can't when you go to override something. So you can override this, but that's not going to give you access to that um, to that sub interface. And then when you come to here, you can't do anything with these. You can't delete them. You can't because they're, they're template values, and you can't can't delete them. And if you try and override them, there is no override button. So, so we're kind of stuck. So that should have committed now, and we're going to make this as quick as possible because it really is only a, a it's a quick process. Okay. So I already have um, a device key, generated an authentication key. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into Panorama settings on the management when it loads. And then we're just going to pop our our authentication key, which I've copied somewhere else. Okay, and then we're going to come down here to disable device and network template, and then we're going to import the device and network template before disabling. It's very important if you're in a production environment and you've got settings that have been put on the firewall through templates, and you don't do that, then basically you're going to lose everything on that firewall um, that wasn't pushed down by uh, sorry that was pushed down by template. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do that, okay? And then we're simply going to okay that, and then we're going to commit that to this firewall. So we're doing a local commit on the firewall. I'll pause it whilst that commit's going. Okay, so where that was uh, now com uh, committed completely, and we see we've got some app dependencies and things like this. Um, there is a problem with Firefox uh, where it doesn't actually populate this side for some reason I don't quite know why uh, but we don't need to worry about that for the minute so now on our firewall so we're local on our firewall now and we go back to network and we see our interfaces now are local to the device so where we have where we had previously the the cogs and everything like that we now haven't got now it's important that nobody wants to make any changes uh, at any point to this whilst you're doing this so this has got to be sort of you know you exclusively on the device so the one we want to remove 
we've got our web server um, VLAN there, so we want to retain that one, and we want to remove the database one. So now we can simply delete it because it is uh, it's local to the device, so there's no reason not to. And then we can commit it, and we'll commit it here uh, locally on the device. Okay, so that's now committed again. So now what we've got is we've got our local device. That's committed and we can see if we go back here, we've got the desired, um, we've got the desired result, which is in here that exists. The web server one, it exists on VM London as well, but the database one that we wanted to get rid of is gone. So now how do we get this back into Panorama? So we effectively never left Panorama. So that's, you know, that's, that's a good thing. So what we need to do now is we need to come back in here, go into Put our auth key in again obviously we need an auth key whenever we're doing something um, with uh, with panorama settings um, I'm not sure if I actually do with that one but you know it's in there now so you can see we've got no panorama set this isn't push on panorama at all we know this isn't because there's no cogs but we're going to click OK and I'm going to commit that again okay so again that's committed Right, and then now, as you can see, even if we refresh this, which is just done anyway, but I'll do it again for a laugh. So if we refresh this, we can also, we can see now, we still haven't got any cogs, and that's because we haven't pushed anything from, from Panorama. So what we're going to do in Panorama now, this is where I say it's really important to understand at this point that if, you, um, if you're doing this, you need to make sure that all the values are, are of what you want to be on the box okay so you need to make sure your template is in sync with what you want on the device so what we're going to do is we are then going to go to push the devices we're going to edit selections and we are going to pull that one and we're going to force template values okay and then we're going to push to the device and then that's going to push the templates down to so the template values down to the device which are in sync with what we want and what we've removed from the VM London firewall so that we know that when it's back on there we're going to have it managed again by Panorama it is going to be using template values they're going to be forced so you can manage it as you did before and um, it's in sync and we've removed that sub interface okay so that's now uh, committed and if we just refresh this we can see now that we've managed again from the template stack. And if we wanted to, and we check on uh, the summary as well, so we can see as well that we've got everything is in sync. And if we went to here, then we can add, if we wanted to, another sub interface. So we add another sub interface. So if we're changing the VLAN, for instance, we can change that VLAN to. Uh, VLAN 560, give it a tag 560. We're going to assign it to that default router. It's in the virtual system, and then this is a, this is obviously our DB server. So what we're saying here is that this is now changed. So I'm going to say dot fifty six dot one slash slash twenty four for argument's sake. Okay. And then we are just going to commit and push that to our firewalls. And then on this final commit, we'll see that um, we've moved it across. We took everything out, put everything back in. We cleaned up the um, we cleaned up the the template value that wouldn't wouldn't remove because obviously we've got to use our imaginations. Um, and now we're just going to prove that the template is now working, and we can now add an interface. Okay, so that's finished now. It's uh, committed, so a moment of truth. We just spin this back over. And then we've got our DB uh, servers there. We know it's from the template stack, although it's not given us a template stack name. Um, and so that's it, so it's now it's now configured. What we've done is we've, we had a problem where we couldn't remove it because um, we was pushing from Panorama and it didn't remove that, that, uh, that sub interface. So we made everything local on the firewall. We deleted it locally on the firewall because now we're able to because it's a local value. And then we re-added it back into, um, back into Panorama. And as we can see, if we click through, 
So now our settings are back where they are. They're managed from Panorama. Uh, we can see the, the little cogs. We've got the stack that it's from, the stack value. Um, everything is, is as it should be now. Network and device uh, is all configurable from from Panorama. So that's so that's what to do. So the problem there is, as I say, just to recap quickly, so that's you're making a change on Panorama, you push it to your firewalls and it doesn't reflect on the firewalls. This can also be done with um, the policies and objects. You can also do the same thing there. You can remove them and then put them, put them back in. Uh, so hopefully that'll help. Um, and I managed to get it just, well, just over 10 minutes. So uh, say please like and subscribe if you made it this far, well done. I hope if you had this problem, then you fixed it. And um, I'll catch you on the next video.